going to be really quick. It doesn't have Hello and welcome to another edition of the Backline Report. My name is Carlos Torres and along with Fred Alvader, we bring you the latest in the golf, in golf news, information, analysis, insights, recaps, and previews. And today, Fred, we're going to be talking about the ending, season ending FedEx Cup Championship Tournament, the Tour Championship that is going to be played this weekend for a little chunk of money. Big weekend coming up, Carlos. So we got the uh, Tour Championship, the end of the 2021 season on the uh, PGA Tour with the Tour Championship. And we got the Solheim Cup coming up in Toledo, Ohio. So I don't know. I'm going to be trying to watch both things, tape and stuff. It's going to be really interesting. Um, wow. Coming off last week with Patrick Canley and Bryson DeChambeau going back and forth. Uh, if, if the Tour Championship is anything like that, it's going to be exciting. Well, this is it. I mean, the 2020-2021 PGA Tour season has reached the final event of the season. As you all know, it's a 30-man field that's heading to the East Lake Golf Club for the 2021 Tour Championship. And uh, following the conclusion, like you mentioned, of the BMW Championship, now a stagger start will set the field for the Tour Championship. Leading the way is Patrick Cantley, who will start the tournament at 10 under. Bryson DeChampo simply could not put Cantley away down the stretch at the, uh, the BMW. And as you mentioned, he won with draining the clutch putter after clutch putt to, uh, for himself to win. He'll start the tournament with a two-shot lead over Tony Fina, who starts at eight under. Other contenders in the field, as well as their starting score, include Bryson DeChambeau at seven under, John Ram at six under, Justin Thomas at uh, four under, Justin Jordan Speed at four under, Dustin Johnson, three under, Rory McIlroy at two under, Brooks Kepka as well, and Sander Chaffley. They'll try and overcome their pre-tournament deficit to win the Tour Championship. But there's some other players all also play it. Five under there, Cameron Smith has been playing well. Uh, Justin Thomas, Harris English, Abraham Answer, Sam Burks playing really, really well. Uh, your guy, Colin Morikawa, Sonia Im, Victor Hovland, Louis Osaisen, uh, Jason Cockrock, Kevin Na. Corey Connors, Hideki Matsuyama, Stuart Singh, Joaquin Neiman, Scotty Scheffler, Daniel Berger, Eric Van Ruyen, and Sergio Garcia, the two guys that got in last week, along with Billy Horschel, and at least on name, their number 30 is Patrick Reed. Yeah, and uh, Patrick Reed is uh, probably not going to be able to play. He's still recuperating from his uh, double pneumonia bout. Uh, and if he did play, he wouldn't have a lot of uh, energy, I wouldn't think, because it takes a while to recuperate from that. Um, so we may only have 29 players this week. But um, as you said, you know, going back, uh, if Bryson DeChambeau would have beaten Patrick Cantley, he would have started with the 10 under, and Cantley would have been the 7 under. That was a six-shot swing, essentially, uh, for Bryson losing uh, last weekend. Tony Finau, uh, of course, he won the Northern Trust, so he's he's coming in good form. Uh, John Ram probably was the favorite when we started this whole thing a couple of weeks ago. And then Colin Morikawa, JT, and uh, Jordan Spieth were at the top of the FedEx Cup standings when we started. And now they're clear down, uh, going to be about uh, uh, three and four under. They're going to be about six and seven shots back as they start the week. So this whole handicap system, it's, you know, they started this last year. Um, so Canley definitely has the advantage, but he still has to play well to maintain that. He's got to go one or two or three under every day, pretty much to maintain that, or somebody's going to shoot low and catch up to him. Uh, the numbers they were shooting at, uh, at Caves Valley last week were unbelievable. What they end up at 27 under or something uh, to tie. Uh, if they're playing that well at East Lake, um, that's that's somebody could really go low a couple of days and jump right in there. So uh, who's out? You mentioned who slipped in there. Uh, KH Lee, Charlie Hoffman, uh, Alex Norm, Siwoo Kim. Uh, they didn't quite make it. Hoffman was 29 and fell out. Max Hom Homo was 30 and he fell clear down to 35th. Who's the hottest golfers coming in? Uh, Eric Von Ruin moved from 45th clear up to 27th. Sergio slipped into the Tour Championship. He was 44th clear up to 28th. They were the, really the only couple golfers to move from outside to the top 30. 
uh, but they are playing really well right now. Sergio especially had a really good round on Sunday. So um, who's going to win the $15 million big check on Sunday, Carlos? Uh, that's going to be interesting. And I'm going to give you a little bit of a heads up on that pretty soon. But uh, I wanted to touch real quick on something you mentioned, because it's something that every year, even though the PGA Tour changes at some point, has, this is because the, last year it wasn't the first time that they has changed how this how to win the Tour Championship plus also achieve to win uh, the FedEx Cup. Uh, because we had seen that there were players that would win the Tour Championship, but not the FedEx Cup. So they came up with this scoring thing. Uh, and uh, there's a lot of people that are not happy with it. Yeah, there will always be happy people that are not going to please everybody. Uh, but uh, one of the things, and if you see Patrick Reed, has not played a single tournament he, yet. He still is there at number 30, but he's still there. He qualified. Just barely, though. I mean, some guys were, you know, they were nipping his heels to knock him out on Sunday. They, they would, but he. The, the thing is that the format allows for something like this to happen, and uh, that shouldn't be. I mean, you, it, there should be a way for you to actually play in the playoffs or at least make it like you have to play at least one before making the, the, the tour championship because now it's only three. It used to be four, now it's only three. Uh, and it's not fair for those players that were doing their darkness to try to make their the, the, the tour championship be that top 30 to win and at least have the chance. Of course, uh, we see that Patrick can't lease at 10 under at least two shots ahead of uh, Tony Finau. So one of the one of the things that I look for and uh, is when you look at East Lake, there's some horses for the course in this year. And uh, I was looking at uh, in at least minimum 10 rounds, who has gained more than 1.5 strokes per round at East Lake with a minimum of 10 rounds. The big guy there, Sander Choffley, 3.56 strokes gained per uh, per round. That means that if he goes that way, he's going to make at least 14 under. He's eight uh, behind Patrick Cantley. So that could tell you that he could do it. Uh, Rory McIlroy, 2.91. JT is 2.66. Uh, Bailey Horschel is 2.3. Sergio is 2.23. John Ram, 2.18. Tony Finau, 2.06. Jordan Spieth, 181, and Brooks Kepka 164. So Ram and Finau are very close, are the closest of that uh, of that of this list to Patrick Cantley. But the way that Patrick is playing, really, uh, if he plays this place any of that show that he did this past week, and he definitely should win. But I think Sander uh, has a, a I think John Ram. It's my guy to beat here, but I, I think if you were going to pick a dark horse, I would not pick against Sander Shoffley. Uh, Sander Shoffley, very good name. Uh, how about winning the $15 million, the FedEx Cup and the gold medal all in the same year? That wouldn't be a bad year, right? You'd remember that one. Uh, I'm just going to talk about uh, – I like John Rahm, too. Uh, no question about it. I, you know, when you got one tournament and you got to pick a guy right now, uh, John Rahm is probably the guy to pick. Uh, but I'm telling you what, I, I really, for some reason, I get a few good feeling about Rory McIlroy this week. I, I don't know what it is. I know he's come out in, in public and said, you know, I'm tired. I'm playing too much golf. I got to take some time off as soon as this is over. Uh, but you know what? When you get in that place, you just start playing one shot after another and not thinking so much and things fall in place. Uh, the other guy that I really like, I, I really think this guy is going get, to get this done one of these days, win a big deal, is Scotty Scheffler. Um, you know, they're, they're about six shots back, um, but uh, or a little more than that, eight shots back of, of uh, Canley. But, you know, Rory, when he gets hot, or even Scotty Scheffler, when they, get, they can throw in birdies from every place. So uh, those are two names I'm really watching this week, Carlos. Um, expecting big things but like you say John Rahm is hard to bet against yeah Rory as I as you saw I mentioned him as the second guy with the most strokes gained there per round and definitely he could make it then my only worry is what you were saying that he said he says that he's a little tired uh, and we've seen that we've seen like he started the, the tournaments well and then all of a sudden it starts to fade off so I mean he he can win here for sure 
Uh, but I, I just wonder if he has enough ga gas left in the tank to make it done. So uh, that's uh, John Ram. Definitely, I think this is his uh, tournament to lose the way I see it. Um, and Sander Choffley, I, I think he, we, we see him every year playing excellent here at East Lake. So I wouldn't be surprised if he goes really, really low and starts to get chip in, chip in and, and try to be there at the end. If he is close to, to the top of the leaderboard on Sunday, he's going to be very, very dangerous. But anyway, it's going to be a very interesting tournament. Only 30 players are going to be there. Uh, Patrick Cantley, the guy that everybody's looking up to and trying to get him down. If he keeps playing the way that he did, uh, that that old classic style of golf, I loved it. That's why I love the way that he won. Uh, I mean, just go ahead, out drive me by fifty walking. yards. I'll just I'll just hit an, another iron, knock it in tight, and or make a long putt. Doesn't matter. I got the other. I don't. Thing. I don't need to reach the greening too. I, the five, the par five thing too. I'll just lay up. I'll put it close. I have a great putting game. Boom, birdie done. That's it. It was uh, fun to watch. <laughs> just Patrick, stop walking. Okay, let me take a shot. <laughs> just kidding, Patrick. Love you, man. Anyway, thank you for joining us. I uh, hope you enjoy and enjoy this time this weekend for the Tour Championship. Next week, we'll be telling you who won and, hey, how about how they did. So thank you for joining us. Remember to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with the latest in golf news and information. Also subscribe to us. Follow us on Twitter at Pac-Man Report. The number nine is in the middle. So thank you for joining us.